Looking for a way to get healthy? The Chef You and I program has the answer. Catherine Raker and chefs from around the nation will teach even the most inexperienced how to cook. Come into their kitchen and watch them take ordinary foods with loads of calories and fat and turn those foods into healthier dishes. You will be the first to get tips and ideas on foods that are easy to prepare. Now let's join Catherine and today's chef and learn how to make today's recipes. Hi, this is Katherine Raker of The Chef You and I. Today we're making a really exciting fajita garden siesta salad. And you know, I work with a wonderful company called Next Stage, and they work with dialysis patients. But I think this, this wonderful salad could be good for lots of different people. And it's delicious, by the way. And today we're going to actually start with marinating, and they call for steak. So this is a pound of sirloin steak. And so what we're going to do is we're going to marinate it for a couple of hours. And then, or overnight you can do it. And you want it just to get marinated just enough so that you can cook it and then you're going to slice it really thin for the salad so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to apply to the steak uh, the olive oil which is a fourth of a cup of olive oil okay and just give that a really generous kind of thing on it and then i'm going to turn the steak over right so i'm thinking about uh Wonderful, uh, in May, uh, the wonderful day of Cinco de Mayo, but that's not yet. We're still in winter, so what can I tell you? Okay, so we've got the olive oil almost all on it, and I could pour the rest over it, right? So you want to marinate that. And then the next thing we're going to do, actually, is we're going to put a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, this is a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And we're going to do that. And just a little of that and a little of that. And we're going to turn it over. And just do that. Okay. And then it calls for a half a teaspoon of chili powder. So we've got that. There's a half a teaspoon. And I'm going to do this. Just brush that on, right? Then turn it over again. And you've got all of that and just put the rest of the garlic, not uh, garlic, oh, excuse me, hold on. Um, just a little more of that, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take and you're gonna wrap this up in cellophane and you're gonna put it in the refrigerator. And while I do that, we're gonna take a short break and we'll be right back. And we're gonna be right back on The Chef You and I. We're back and we've marinated our steak and we're ready to cook it now. And what we did is we actually had for our spice rub for our one pound sirloin steak, one tablespoon of olive oil, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder and a half a teaspoon of chili powder. So now what we're doing is we're taking this off, right? And we'll put this in the can here. And we're gonna take our steak and we're gonna Fry it to our design, our desired doneness, right? And ouch, go ahead. And that looks good. And we're going to take this over here because we don't need that any longer. And we're going to make sure that it gets just a little bit. Uh, just a little rare, just a little pink inside because this is going to be cut in strips for our salad. So in the meantime, I'm just going to put this cover on it for a few minutes, right? And in the meantime, what we're going to do is we have boiled a half a cup of long grain rice dry. And so this is what we have here. So it's already done, right? 
And then we have a half a cup of frozen corn, which is going to be part of um, the building of our Fiesta salad, right? And then in the meantime, what we're going to do is we're going to cut up our red pepper. Um, we need at least a about a half a cup of red pepper, green pepper. So I've already prepared these three to cut up into julienne strips. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to cut this up into julienne strips. And it's going to be so beautiful on our uh, salad. And by the way, I had this salad the other night for some friends. And they don't eat beef, so I made it with chicken. And it actually turned out so good. And the dressing was absolutely delicious. And it's like a green goddess dressing. And this, this salad is actually really good for your dialysis patients. And I got it from the Next Stage website. Um, and so it's really simple. So the, the ingredients for the salad are a half a cup of long grain rice. And I'm watching the steak right now, so let's see what it's doing. Oh, this looks beautiful. Look at that. Let the camera look at how nice that is. That is beautiful. Boy, does that smell good. Absolutely. Can't wait to, to have that. So um, you have this. You want to cut these up in julienne strips. And like I said, it's a half a cup. And it's, it just tastes so good. I was so, I really, really loved it. And I love the dressing. It's really good too. So that dressing is actually, uh, let's go back to the salad. It's a half a cup of long grain rice. It is a half a cup of frozen corn kernels thawed. One tablespoon of olive oil. A half a cup of red pepper julienne, a half a cup of green pepper julienne, a half a cup of yellow onion sliced, and four cups of iceberg lettuce washed and torn. So this is what we're doing right now. So we have the red pepper and the green pepper. We don't need the yellow pepper, but I actually, for my salad the other day, because I like color, I used yellow pepper. So here we're doing, we're julienning this green pepper. And, you know, you can always send your recipes in to Katherine Raker at, uh, actually, kraker at 123 at gmail.com. You can go up onto our Chef You and I site. Um, and also, you can look at our YouTube channel. And if there's anything that you would like to have me make or to make me make it lighter for you, or you'd like to be a guest on our show, we'd love to have you. Um, just let us know, and um, we'd love to have you and your recipes. So we're almost done with this. This is pretty fast, actually. And we're going to de set these aside for you. And I actually like to cut them up in a little bit, just half of them, like that. Makes it simple. Because when you're having it on a salad, you kind of want to not have it in great big you know, pieces. So we will do that, and... So I'm going to put this aside, and then we're going to do our onion. And I'm looking at my steak right now. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, that looks beautiful. Oh, my goodness, how nice that is. Oh, smells great. Okay, so now what we're going to do is our onion, which is, this is a yellow onion that um, I uh, actually have been using. And so what we're going to do is we're going to cut up, and we're going to have... Um, half a cup of green onion, yellow onion slice. So you just slice them. You don't even have to chop them, just slice. So nice little slices to put on top of the actual salad. And then you can separate them. That's the nice thing about onion. And all right, so that, look at how nice that is going to be for our salad. Really pretty. Okay. So nice colors. Nice colors. So that's about it. So we're going to take a break and we'll be right back on the Chef You and I right after these messages.
We're back, and I'm actually going to take my green onions, and I'm going to chop them up for the dressing, which is really important. So actually what we're going to do is we need a quarter cup of green onions. So we want to take the ends off, right? So just cut those off. And so you just need a quarter of a cup of green onions because this is going to be in your salad. But guess what? The nice thing about this salad is that you're going to put this into your food, pro not food processor, your blender, and you're going to blend this up to make this, it, it looks like green goddess in the end dressing, okay? So I've met, I pre-measured this before and know that it's just three green onions, okay? All right, so we want to put that aside, all right? And what we're going to do next is we're going to take and cut up our cilantro leaves, which I absolutely love cilantro. It's so good. And that's a nice, how beautiful that is. That's fresh. We need a half a cup of cilantro leaves. So we're going to do a half a cup of cilantro leaves. We're going to chop those up. So this is it. And remember, you're going to be putting this into a blender situation. So it, they don't have to be chopped up so like totally, they just have to be chopped. So we're going to use that and we're going to get a half a cup and we're going to put that in there. Okay, so I need a half a cup. So let me go get a half a cup. So this is about a half a cup and we're going to put that in there so that you know you got enough. And that's it. So now we're going to take our blender, right? And we're going to blend, um, actually, the green onion, the cilantro leaves, a teaspoon of minced garlic, two tablespoons of lemon juice, and a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil. So we're going to do that right now. So um, we'll be right back. Just put the cilantro leaves into it. And I put my uh, minced garlic in it already at the bottom. And now I'm adding my onions right? And then you want to add also your lemon juice and your olive oil. Okay, so there's your lemon juice. That is two tablespoons of lemon juice. And I need the quarter cup of virgin olive oil. So it's just a little, I know a quarter cup pretty well. So there's a quarter cup of olive oil and I you know I loved I love to cook with olive oil it's so healthy for you and much better in your in your dressings and everything else so let's do this we're going to put the top on it okay we're going to put that on there I think we should turn our steak off so just a second let me turn my steak off I think it's just about done and we'll let it rest for a few minutes. Oh, that smells good. So, whoops. And, okay, let's do that. And let's put the bullet in right here. And we will mix our dressing up. And you'll be surprised how fast this actually, actually works and how fast you can put the salad together. So, hold on a second. See how it looks like green goddess. I love it. Okay, so we're done with that. Okay, so we're gonna actually we're gonna pour that into into one of these containers, right? All right. Okay, so you can see how beautiful that is. Beautiful salad dressing. So we don't need this any longer. So we'll move this over here and. And so now we're done with this. We're done with our salad dressing and we're done with our steak. So what we're gonna do when we come back is we are gonna cut our steak up and we're gonna assemble our salad. We'll be right back. We're back and now we've prepared our lettuce, so we're gonna tear it up and we're gonna put it into this clear bowl right here, okay? And then you just wanna tear it up. Right. 
and make it small enough so that people don't have to absolutely slice it or whatever. And you make it really attractive looking because this is really a beautiful salad, no matter what time of the year you it is because you want to get your vegetables in and your you know your protein and everything that you need now um, my husband um, unfortunately can't eat beef so I would actually do a uh, breast of chicken for him with no salt and um, they don't add any extra salt into this recipe because of course, you know, you have to watch your sodium and your phosphorus and all those different things. And I'm going to give those, and they'll be up on our website as well. Um, so this is about four cups of lettuce. And here, we want to use that. This is the other part of the lettuce leaf. I like the really, the greener part of uh, iceberg lettuce, actually. And just put that in there. And it's a really nice salad, really pretty. Okay, and then we're going to cut, we've already cut up all of our vegetables, so all we have to do is our steak, and then we can actually assemble everything, right? So I have to clean off my board, so we're going to take a little break, and I'm going to move this to the side, and we'll be right back. And now we're going to... We're going to make, um, we're going to cut our sirloin, but we're going to do it in real thin strips because remember, you're going to be putting on top of your salad, so you want to do it very thin strips. Look at that. This is really easy, and this is beautiful tender steak. And, you know, marinating it really helps the steak, and it brings in all the flavors, and it's just delicious. This looks wonderful. And I personally love, uh, and I don't have steak very often. I have it maybe once or twice uh, every two weeks. I, I eat a lot of chicken and turkey um, and some vegetarian stuff as well because um, my husband can't eat beef. So whenever I get a chance to have some, I do. But you want really tender, lean beef. And so we're almost there. This will actually feed four people, this recipe. So we've got four plates out there that we're going to plate. And um, this is just delicious. Absolutely. So we're almost finished with the steak. And I'm going to cut it up into smaller pieces because, you know, some people just don't like real big pieces and you don't want to serve it like that you know so let's do that and that's the gristle so we'll put that over there so I'm gonna basically I'm gonna half these so you have smaller pieces all right that's good it goes a longer way too everybody gets an equal amount and so I like to invite friends over for this because and you could have a nice a nice um, dessert with this, and it would be a really light meal. Or a lunch. This could be a lunch. You could save it for, you know, tomorrow, too. Take it to work. Do it ahead of time. Take it to work, and you've got a wonderful lunch that's healthy for you. Okay, we're done with this. And now we're going to assemble, which I like to do, assemble the salad. How about that? So I'm going to put this steak on this plate, and then we're going to do that. Okay. Right. Okay, so like I said before, go to our website, which is thechefyouandi.com uh, or katherinerager.com, or look us up on YouTube, and you can see us on your local channels. So here's the steak. We're going to put that right there. Now what we're going to do is we are going to take our salad. There's the lettuce, right? And I want to get my tongs out. Huh. Here they are. It's really important to be able to move the let move the salad around a little bit. Okay, so we have earlier was I actually mixed my rice and I have some additional um, additional corn that I'm going to put on top of it, which is over here, right? And 
So this is what we're going to do. We're going to add this first. So that's really pretty. And I've got some extra corn here, right? So that's that. So we're going to mix that in first. This looks really good. Okay, mix that in. Okay, and my hands are clean, so I actually can move that around a little bit. Okay, and that's that. Then what we're going to do is take our our wonderful green peppers and put those on. All right? And then your onions. Your red peppers. So now what you want to do is you want to mix this up a little bit so it looks really pretty. Now you can see that it looks fiestive. So we're going to take the camera and show you this. Right? And I, I, I think I still have some additional. I did do this. I kept this in here because I didn't use all the rice and corn. So I'm going to add a little bit more. Okay, and that should do it. And then what you want to do is you want to take your steak and put it on top. And that is your salad. And is, I'm going to plate it so everybody gets the same amount of beef, but you can see this. I want you to see how pretty that is. And that was really simple. Very simple. I'm going to go over the recipe with you one more time because I think it's important. It is a wonderful, let me get my glasses on, sorry about that. Um, one pound of sirloin steak. Uh, for the spice rub, it is one tablespoon of olive oil, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a half a teaspoon of chili powder. The salad is a half a cup of long grain rice dry, and I had already cooked the rice to make it faster for us. Um, and then a half a cup of frozen corn corn kernels thawed. And if you want to cook your if you want to cook your your corn just a little bit, and you can't eat it raw, I understand that. One tablespoon of olive oil, a half a cup of red pepper julienne, a half a cup of green pepper julienne, a half a cup of yellow onion sliced, four cups of iceberg lettuce washed and torn. And our dressing is a fourth of a cup of green onion chopped, a half a cup of cilantro leaves washed, one teaspoon of garlic minced, two tablespoons of lemon juice, and a fourth of a cup of ed extra virgin olive oil. Now, here's the wonderful thing. Um, the directions and everything will be up on our website, but I want to give you the nutritional breakdown because I think this is really important for our patients. A quarter cup, a quarter of the recipe, the fat total is 20 grams, sodium 68 milligrams, potassium 546 milligrams, and phosphorus 276. Calories, 420 calories, protein 28, uh, grams and carbohydrates 30. So let's uh, plate this so that you can see it. We'll just do two plates right now, but it does it does um, hold for a serving of four. Okay, so let's take this and oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so that's really pretty. So you can see how pretty the actual salad is. And I'm going to put a couple of these on top of it so that you can see how fiesta, how, what it means by fiesta. You've got all these different colors. That's one. And let's do the other one now. Okay, and then I'm going to add the beef to that. And and that beef is so tender I can't even tell you how wonderful that is and like I said, you can add additional um, red and green peppers to give it the color it needs, right? 
and the onion. A lot of people love onion. I know my husband does. He loves onion. So that is your Fiesta garden salad. And we'll be right back um, on our show. We'll be right back. We're back and we have our salad finished and the piece de resistance is the wonderful dressing. And the dressing, remember, was cilantro. It was, you know, um, lemon juice or olive oil. And so we're just gonna pour this on there. That looks beautiful, actually. Ooh, I can't wait. I had this the other night and it was absolutely delicious. So here we go. And great. That's, that is finished and you can serve this. It'll be beautiful for your guest. I know they'll love it. And look at that. Look at how simple that was to do. We'll be right back on The Chef You and I where we're gonna make ribs. So we're very excited about that. You're going to love what we put on these ribs. We've got a new barbecue sauce that we're going to try on our baby back ribs. So we'll be right back on The Chef You and I. Hi, we're back on Catherine Raker's The Chef You and I, and I'm very excited about doing this next dish. We are going to do my favorite barbecued ribs, and this is baby back ribs, and we're using with our wonderful baby back ribs our new sponsor, Skip Kenny Barbecue Sauce, and they have it in whiskey, they have it in sweet and in spicy, and they also have a wonderful rub that we're going to use today, but guess what? They've been so good that they know that I'm allergic to garlic. So they made garlic free for me. So it'll be in your stores very shortly. So today we have done another show with the Skip County Barbecue. But because it's Catherine and they're my ribs today, we're making it with the garlic free uh, barbecue sauce and the, uh, the wonderful uh, rub. So as you know, with barbecued ribs, you want to get that main membrane off okay so you can either do it like this where you break up the membrane or I just use a knife and get rid of the membrane that way because you want to get you want those ribs to be wonderful so uh, this is what I do every time that I make ribs and I just want to get that that membrane off of there so it doesn't take long to do it just get it off as much as you can and it'll taste so much better. When I make um, venison, you do the same thing. You get rid of the membrane uh, on the meat because it'll, it just tastes better and much more tender. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I cut my ribs. So I'm going to cut them into four, into four pieces to put on my um, actual... Um, my broiling pan, and I do something different than a lot of people do, and that is I um, actually put the barbecue sauce and the rub on uh, before, well, you know, before they're cooked, and then I add them after as well. So we're almost there. I think I'm going to have more than four here. I'm probably going to have six. So no, I'm going to have five because some people don't like a lot. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to actually take our rub and we're going to actually just put that rub on there. And you can actually do it with your hand as well. But I'm going to do that. And I'm going to put some on the back. That yeah, looks so good. Right? And then I'm going to put that on to the broiling pan directly. And then I'm going to add my barbecue sauce in a minute. But you see me doing this, but you can do this with your hands. And some people don't like to touch it, so they use rubber gloves. And, and make sure you, with pork and chicken, make sure, with any meat actually, um, make, make sure that you wash your hands. I could make this into another piece here. Well, maybe, maybe not. Okay. Because we'll probably have one of a child over so that they may not eat as much. So let's do that. So we're doing that. 
And I love the Skip Kenny product because guess what? Skip Kenny actually created his barbecue sauce because he was actually doing barbecues all over Texas. And he and his wife um, actually are therapists and um, they started cook making their own barbecue sauces. And their friend, who was named Kenny, um, used to come to their barbecues. And guess what? One day... You know, you, they couldn't find Kenny. He skipped out. So, and he used to do that all the time. So, we don't know where Kenny went, but maybe we're going to find him in here in Cincinnati because he travels all over the country, right? So, they decided, everybody talked them into creating their own barbecue sauce. So, that's what they did. And this is what we have today. And we're going to have new products um, in the next few months, next six months, we're gonna have some new products that you're gonna absolutely love. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this all over and I'm going to move my my board out. We'll be right back. Now we're back with uh, the ribs and I actually add water in my broiling pan. So I put about a cup, a cup and a half, two cups of water and that way they steam. And I can, I can make barbecued ribs all year round, not have to worry about if I have gas for my grill or whatever. Um, it makes it just so simple. Now I cook my ribs for about almost two hours at about 375, about an hour and a half, and they turn out so wonderful. Now I'm gonna take this barbecue sauce and just put it all over that beautiful baby back rib. All right, and then we're going to do it again uh, when it's close to coming out of the oven because you just can't have enough barbecue sauce as far as I'm concerned. And, you know, you probably have some heavy, not hearty eaters that love barbecue. Tell me who doesn't like barbecue. I haven't found too many people that don't like it. And this is, this is a, the wonderful thing about this story is that they're originally from the Midwest and they went to Texas. So this is really Texas barbecue sauce. It's a lot different than you get, you know, in your stores today. And right now they're going to be in the Midwest very shortly. And guess what? Um, we're going to have all kinds of different ways that you can do it. Um, we're going to have lots of recipes and tips on how to barbecue. And we even make a dip and we'll have recipe cards. So I'm so excited about it. This is simple to do. You saw me do it. And now I'm going to cover it with aluminum foil. And we're going to do it real tight because we want to seal it, right? Just make sure you seal that because you've got water in here that's going to steam the ribs. And then I've already preheated the oven. We're going to put the ribs in and we're going to be back shortly after they're finished. We're back and we're going to make a wonderful, easy, really simple dessert. And, you know, I love this wonderful um, mousse because this one is cream brulee, but this one is the milk chocolate and it's Dr. Otaker. And I kind of like this because it's delicious. It tastes good. And it's only a hundred calories, which makes it even better. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take the powder, the actual pudding, right? And it makes enough for four. And I use this uh, when I do catering and a lot of other things because it's really got a nice taste to it. Okay, and then you want to add a cup of milk to it. And you're going to beat this for three to five minutes with your on low, on low. Now that I have it blended, I'm going to put it on the highest speed for at least two to three minutes, okay? Okay, hold on. Now it's the consistency that you want it. See how beautiful that looks? Now we're going to do something 
really different to make it really jazz it up a little bit. We're going to add some things and we're going to put it into the dishes. Now it's ready. You don't have to boil it. It's already done. So it's, you know, a lot of people used to make instant pudding and it would taste a little bit whatever. This is delicious. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a portion of it into my serving dish, right? And then I'm going to layer it. So I'm going to add this, and you can pipe it too if you want to, but for a lot of times people don't have the piping tools, so I'm just going to do it like this, and I'm going to add different things to it to make it look different. So the I like to put um, I like to put nuts, but there's a lot of people that are allergic to nuts, so these are pecans, and I'm going to break them up a little bit with my trusty, dusty pounder and pecans are so tasty they really are they're wonderful so that's just about enough now so I'm gonna and you can use it in your grinder in your coffee grinder too if you've got a coffee grinder so I'm gonna add a few little nuts to this right like that Okay, and then I'm going to add some chocolate squares. We're going to make this a little decadent. So just put that there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some light Cool Whip, and that's going to be the next layer. You want to make your dessert look absolutely like... You spent hours making it, right? So I'm going to give one more layer, right? And recently I did this for a catering, um, for a nonprofit that I did. And we're going to add that. Now look at how pretty that looks. That looks really sweet. Okay. All right, so then I'm gonna add a little bit more of the topping. And the chocolates. And that's really simple. And it, it actually is a delicious dessert that your family and friends will love. And see how simple that was to do it. And, and if you wanted to put, if you want, I just get a, need to get a little cloth here. And if you wanted to put a couple more nuts on it, you could. But I think this is perfect. And look at that, isn't that gorgeous? And so see how simple it was to make that beautiful dessert. And we'll be right back after these messages. We are back on our show and I must tell you, this is a perfect meal, especially, you know, it's kind of winter going into spring, whatever, but we did it very easy um, and, and it's really healthy uh, for you. So even the dessert, 120 calories at the most because I use light everything, including the milk. So here's our wonderful barbecued ribs with that special Skip Kenny wonderful sauce that they provided. Um, our salad that we made uh, earlier in our show, and we added to our salad. I love, I love lettuce with um, actually uh, yellow and green and red peppers and onions and we added some blueberries to it and then we have a little bit of peas and rice um, and I'm so excited it looks delicious I can't wait to try it and uh, don't forget to go to uh, looking on our let me say that again go to our website at the chef uni.com or Catherine Raker or go to our YouTube channel, Catherine Raker, or any of the stations that we're on from Spectrum to Comcast to Dash Media, 
lots and lots of stations, Hulu, DirecTV. So join us next time on our show. Uh, bon appetit and enjoy this wonderful meal. Thanks for joining us on the Chef You and I show today. We'll be back next week with another great and healthy recipe. Don't forget to visit our website, thechefyouandi.com, for all of our featured recipes, cooking tips, and clips of the show. 